Hey guys, so um wanted to share my latest pickup with you guys um just quickly and it's a copy of Congo Bongo on the um SG one thousand. Um nobody laugh, it is a real game. Um and it's actually really good. Um, you know, so I'll just show you ever so quick and then I'm just gonna show you a quick um playthrough because I, I don't want it to be a, a stupidly long video. Uh, but yeah, it's cardboard. Sega cardboard, which is really cool. Uh, I picked this up for dead cheap. It goes for a fortune usually, and um, so I was quite lucky. Um, and there's the cartridge just there, and the manual. I'll show you just quickly what the uh, the cartridges looks like. Look like so they're they're big and black, like that, um, and that is going to sit nicely in my uh, SG. 1000 adapter for the Mega SG just goes oh like that and I'll plug that in in a sec um I'll just show you quickly the where are we going that way cardboard which is really cool and you get a really cool looking um manual in Japanese this is actually the EU version that was released uh, for I believe the French market so there were a few even back then in um, 1983 this game came out so yeah it'd be 40 next year so right I'm gonna slap this in super quick Okay, that is in. Right. Um, <laughs> I've done something. Turn it back on. There we go. I love the startup for this uh, Mega SG. I just seem to be finding more and more things that I like about it. Okay. So yeah, the um, the startup screen is quite basic, as you'll see. Uh, I'm just playing on my uh, retro bit six button Mega Drive pad, which I'm using for everything at the moment. And I have had a go on this. I got, I got quite good actually. I got like, I did a few runs, and I think my best run was like, oh, bloody monkeys! I think my best run was about seventeen thousand. So, um, yeah, not an official master system challenge, not yet anyway. But uh, if anybody wants to have a go at beating the score that I post, then. Um, by all means and um, yeah I had a friend um, sort of say that it was basically a rip-off of Donkey Kong which I get that um, I think Sega were <laughs> quite canny with that sort of thing um, and you know what Donkey Kong is such a great game I do not have a problem with that so um, move your bugger Ah. <laughs> yeah, it's just a lot of fun. This so there's only two levels really. This is the second one. And then you just move on to like the next round, so to speak. Um this one kind of reminds me of Frogger. For obvious reasons, I, I guess, with the, the snakes and stuff. But yeah, I just, um, it's just a lot of fun. <clears throat> Did I die? I thought I got to him. Okay. Last life. 
I thought I actually got to him. I must have slipped off the hippo's back. Oh, just walked in the water. I thought I was on the log. Yeah, there are some things with it that, um, you know, game over. We're going to have another go quick. So, yeah, there are some things with it. You know, it is 39 years old. So it's um, it's an old one. But you can see what you can see what Sega were trying to do. I mean, they basically have gone all out to um, try and take on... Oh, that wasn't so good. To take on Nintendo. So, uh, you know, it's... Um, it's got a lot of si a lot of similarities with that. Uh, I was lucky enough um, last year. I went to the Play Expo in Blackpool, and um, get off me. And they did have a copy of the um, Congo Bongo arcade game, which again looks very different to to this. I mean, it was had a completely different chipset. Uh, the graphics chip in it was very different to what you would find in the SG-1000, which, of course, was Sega's first ever console, uh, which I'm sure most of you probably knew that anyway. But, um, yeah, since picking up the SG... Sorry, the Mega SG, it's just opened up so much... so many potential doors to me. That I just thought, you know what, I will have a look. And yeah, this was dirt cheap. It usually goes for, I think, quite a bit more. I don't think I made that again, did I? No. Yeah, so um, so I thought, you know, why not? <clears throat> and uh, I'm really glad that I did. It's it's quite addictive, um, the fun that you can have, can have on it. I was playing it. Um, last Sunday, the, the day the day it arrived, and um, I was playing it most of the afternoon with you know with a big grin on my face. It was uh, especially this stage, like I say, it reminds me so much of Frogger. So yeah, in my book, I mean it is what it is. It's not going to win. There we go. Uh, it's not going to win first prize for um, you know top next-gen graphics or anything, but for playability and a sheer addictiveness, it's just a lot of fun. It really is. I really like it. Um, I really like Donkey Kong anyway, so something that is similar, then yeah, what's not to like? Absolutely. Oh, monkey got me then, in the way. And then coconuts that are falling, they will knock you to the next level down. So if you're on, like, the bottom level, then, yeah, you are in trouble. You're going to get wet. Oh, I didn't mean to... Bloody monkey. And I've fallen down there now. Oh. Forgot to jump. <laughs> Oh, that was it. <laughs> I thought I had one life left. Okay, guys, so I didn't want it to be a super long video. I could play this all night. But uh, that's Congo Bongo for you. Um, if you get the chance just to um, emulate and have a quick bash, um, then do give it a try. Uh, I promise you I got 17,000 at the weekend. Um, but yeah, um, that's what I think. I think it's a really fun, quite basic... Um, game uh, from Sega really like back in the day when they were sort of trying to pioneer uh, or um, or steal um, good concepts and see what they could do with them really um, but yeah I really liked it guys um, thanks ever so much for watching if you enjoyed the video um, please consider giving me a thumbs up and um, I'll see you on the next one thanks so much